My dear friends, again, salam alaikum. Uh, it's uh, with great joy, uh, pride, and uh, honor that I uh, uh, introduce to you today uh, our my good friend uh, and uh, Sudan's uh, a most prominent uh, poet, music composer, singer, researcher, and a United Nations uh, goodwill ambassador for uh, UNFPA, which is the United Nations uh, for uh, Population. Yeah. I've been out of the UN for too long, I started to forget. Uh, Abdel Karim, uh, he is born in uh, Port Sudan, which is uh, on the Red Sea. Uh, and uh, a few years ago, he was born. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, he is a prolific, prolific poet and songwriter and music composer. I mean, amazing. And of course, everything nowadays uh, is available on YouTube for him. He just put his name and you get everything he, he did. So now in the age of the internet and uh, Google and YouTube, uh, you know, we are blessed to have access to all these gems. Uh, like most poets in our culture, I speak about Sudanese culture, which is a hybrid of uh, African and Arab culture. Uh, you know, we tend to categorize peoples and countries uh, in a very sort of uh, haphazard, superficial way, you know? Like we say Arabs, Africans, Muslims, Christians, Jews. And uh, the reality is more complex than that. But uh, go tell Congress, <laughs> you know? Uh, People go with superficial and simple things. That's why we believe that research is very important, uh, that, that the world can be more peaceful if we only make a little bit more effort uh, in terms of uh, trying to understand the complexity of the world. So coming to uh, our guest tonight, uh, he is his lineage, I mean, the bottom line that I share with him, and I think will resonate with everyone here, is that we don't buy into the isms. We don't buy into just Africanism or Arabism or Jewishness or Christianity or Islam or uh, Asian or American, all this stuff. We take this with a certain degree of uh, vigilance as to who is saying this and why. And we go to the heart of the matter, which is that we are all human. So the human and the humanity and the humanism is the essence of who we are. Uh, so, this is the, I think, the needed awakening in the 21st century for all people. The more, the more we accept our humanity as at the essence and the source of, of who we really are, uh, I think the more enlightened we can become, 
and the more open we can be to actually uh, be bridge builders with regard to all the things that divide us, uh, be it language, religion, geography, history, uh, ethnicity, what have you. So, and that's why we are, you know, in the International Peace Quest Institute and Salaam Sudan Foundation. We emphasize uh, the value of dialogue, interfaith, and cross-cultural. Of course, that implies all the others. So, uh, he is, his roots come from Afghanistan. And uh, Professor Hassan is from Afghanistan. So it's a, it's a very interesting story. And his, his family root started in Afghanistan, went to Iran, and then went to Egypt, Saudi Arabia, and then Sudan. But now he's born in Sudan, raised in Sudan, and he he is a poet and a musician of Sudanese culture, which I said, a hybrid that has all these components. So there is, just in the, the, the narrative and the story of his, his birth and his family roots, there is a, an interesting lesson about diversity and, and, and a humbling, actually, uh, humbling uh, truth about complexity in the world. And so uh, he lived in, 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 he was educated in Port Sudan and then he came to the capital and that's where he became, uh, he found his, uh, his calling in, 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 in the world. Again, you know, I spoke about the voice. It's all about the voice. He he has a great voice, and he actually uh, has given voice to all of us because the values of Sudanese culture, which, as I said, is a hybrid of so many currents from West Africa, uh, Arabia, India, Afghanistan, Greece, and Italy, Egypt, of course, and Morocco, Turkey, Saudi Arabia, and the, 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 you know, the Arabia in general. So all this melting pot of the old world and the ancient world, you know, gave uh, the essence of Sudanese culture. And so uh, it's quite a feat to be able to actually uh, be a voice of that complexity and that diversity. And this is uh, what my friend and uh, dear, dear brother uh, and, uh, uh, you know, a uh, friend in the journey uh, towards, uh, towards the realization uh, of, of a great dream uh, for, for, for our country of origin, a uh, dream, you know, of, uh, of freedom and, and, and dignity uh, and excellence uh, uh, and uh, uh, a society that not only tolerates that, that uh, difference but embraces differences uh, and embraces and celebrates diversity because uh, that is the way to go and uh, if we look at the American model uh, and see the positive aspects of the American experiment, which is un ongoing, uh, I think this is an area where we can get inspiration in terms of uh, in terms of uh, uh, some of the successes that uh, have been achieved in this country uh, uh, without losing. Uh, sight of the price uh, of sacrifices paid by uh, 
many people uh, uh, in this society as well. So uh, uh, he w he was supposed, of course, to to come with his uh, uh, instrument to play for us and to have a concert. Uh, uh, unfortunately, he's he's a little bit ailing in health, and so he couldn't bring uh, the instrument. But in his state, uh, and he he's not feeling really uh, uh, great, but. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, he wanted absolutely to make the journey and to come and to be present uh, because of all, you know, the love that uh, unites us and, uh, you know, his appreciation of uh, this community and what I told him about all of you and all of us and our experiment in living together. So uh, I would like to uh, uh, give him the mic to share a few thoughts, uh, maybe a few points. Uh, have a look at this. This is okay. Okay. So he 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 wrote an interesting poem uh, about the re election of uh, Barack Obama. No, actually about the election of Barack Obama in two thousand eight. And uh, he asked me to read it for you before giving him the mic to share a few thoughts. And then he brought a CD for a very important musical piece uh, that he uh, uh, he did. And we will, uh, of course, it's in Arabic, but we will try to translate uh, the content of it so that you get the gist. But then you will love the, the, the melody and the music. So you will have, you know, something from his music as well. Let me now read to you the, the poem. Uh, it's entitled, Fulfilled Dream. Fortunate, fortunate, the fortunately, my present visit to the USA, this was written in 2008, huh? Fortunately, my present visit to the USA, which is number four, the fourth time he came, coincided with the meaningful great event of the election of Mr. Barack Obama for the presidency of America. Now, by the election of a man of partly African origin for the presidency of the greatest country of our modern world, America can truly claim the advanced status of cradle for freedom and democracy. You know, in Africa, of course, we are very proud to always call Africa the cradle of human civilization, not the dark continent. <laughs> the cradle of human civilization. Uh, so he used this uh, a metaphor to, to call America the cradle for freedom and democracy. Here and there are but few words reflecting the true feelings of a poet, music composer, singer, and researcher in the areas of Sudanese history and folklore. I wish the great expectations of too many people come true and the historical occasion keeps a pleasant smile going. Are you reading Abdel Karim Al Kabi? So I'm now. This is an introduction to the poem. I'm coming to the poem now, and the poem starts like this: "And prepare in time an asylum for mankind, a far-fetched dream anticipated by a shrewd mind." Who dare believe at that time Thomas Paine, but a humanitarian soul with a reaching brain? The dream has filled the air of every new state with marching freedom, and Lincoln was so great. Then came a Martin, named after a man of holy grace, 
he was a king with a crown made of peaceful face. The light of his ambitious free soul mercilessly extinguished, but his flying free dream continued unrelinquished. In the mirror of his commanding image, so pure and clean, two Clintons with other noble hearts could be seen. Wake up Asia, wake up Africa and beware. The dawn of long expelled freedom is in glare. The great theater of life hath changed the screen and a smiling April came up bright and green. We are in April and we are in spring and it's bright. The colorful group of players dance in grace with the maestro so tall of chocolate color and human race. By the will of God, great America has come through a guided dream to be an asylum for freedom true. Hallelujah, America is coming up again with a peaceful face singing, singing in the rain. So that's the... <laughs> so, uh, Karim, I think uh, the floor is yours. You can share a few thoughts with uh, our uh, friends, and then uh, take it from here. And be Hello, good friends. Alaikum salam. Salam alaikum. <laughs> Excuse my voice. You see, I'm losing my voice, which is everything to me. I've been told by the lady doctor that this is due to allergy. I feel great, just great now, to talk to you. Thankful to my dear friend Hashim, who while he was introducing me to you and raising me too high, I wondered asking myself, about whom was he talking? <laughs> <laughs> I knew Mr. Hashim, although he started by mentioning few years, but I knew him actually before half a century. Yeah, we met before that whole time, yes. I feel great, again I say, to meet you and to talk to you. Because now I can see you as too many people. Yes, you are too many people through your experiences. Yes, I believe in this. Everybody here has got a lot of stories and a lot of experiences and that makes this congregation a rich one. I am interested in arts with concentration on music, singing. I am a music composer, I am a singer, I was longing to bring my lute with me, my instrument. But as I said, I'm losing my voice now. I hope maybe next time I shall find a chance to <laughs> sing for you. <clears throat> Music composer, singer, and I am a poet. I used to introduce myself when I say I am a poet. I used to say I am a good poet. 
In fact, I am a very good poet. And all my listeners used to laugh. <laughs> at least, I used to say, at least better than Sina of Shakespeare's play titled Julius Caesar about Caesar. <laughs> because when Brutus stabbed his best friend, that is Caesar, he stabbed him to death. Then Caesar turned towards him and looked him into the eyes and said to him, et tu brut, et tu brut. I'm not sure, but I presume that the words brut and brutal enter the English vocabulary from there. Et tu brut. Then Brutus delivered his speech and he was a great orator. He mentioned that he didn't kill his best friend Caesar because he didn't like him. No, he said, I loved him, but I loved Rome more because he was becoming a dictator. And then Brutus committed his lifetime mistake by allowing uh, that is the uh, the lover lover of uh, Cleopatra Mark what Anthony? is his name hmm? Mark Anthony I answer Mark Anthony answer Antonius yeah he gave them permission to mourn over the corpse of his friend and that was a mistake he and Cassius and all the group of the conspirators left the forum. And Antonius was a great orator. Within a few minutes, he was able to change the temperament of all those who were there. And in them, Brutus says, uh, Antonio, uh, the, uh, the Caesar was a dictator. Don't you remember when he was, was victorious over so and he came, you gave him the crown three times and he rejected the crown, the, crown, the coronation. How could he have been a, a dictator? And then started to talk to their emotions. See this wound has been caused by the dagger of it. And the people started to shout, kill the conspirators. That's the group of protests. Then one of the, those who were there pointed at Sina and said, here is Sina the conspirator. Then Sina, feeling the perilous situation in which he was, started to shout at the highest pitch of his voice. Listen to me, honorable friends of Antonius. I am not Sina the conspirator. I am not Sina the traitor. I am Sina the poet. I am Sina the poet. There was full silence. And then came a coarse voice from one of the mob saying, then kill him for his bad verses. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I am saying, at least I am better <laughs> than Sina. And uh, moreover, I don't think you are going to shout uh, for my persecution. Because my, my, my poems are in Arabic. <laughs> How many here who, know, who understand that? Are, uh, are you going to, to ask for one? No, no, no. <laughs> this is uh, my, my introduction to you. And I feel, feel really happy yeah. to talk about arts to talk about music and to talk to gentle people like yourselves yeah with your great experiences in life i am thankful also to my friend uh, hashim and uh, hoping all good wishes for his organization or maybe foundation 
which is a humanitarian thing. I believe in humanitarian work. Regarding uh, music, by music, by arts, or arts in general, I have witnessed too many happenings in our world. And many of them were great. Yeah, bring happiness into our souls, but many proved to be saddening, yeah. including the prejudices about which Mr. Hashi was talking, you know. and those who considered themselves as the best. Yeah. For a moment, I shall go for party spirit and say if there are chosen in our lives they ought to be the artists the true artists those who cannot tolerate seeing bloodshed or people poor people those with kind hearts and humanitarian feelings towards others they are anti to wars and to genocide, yeah. Why, because they are born like this, born artists, yeah. If I am asked to prove it, for sure I am going to fail. And nobody can, even in great countries, because of the influence of the, the feelings, yeah, this makes it very difficult. If I play my instrument, being lute or a violin or piano, and a young, tenderly passionate girl sheds tears of emotion, if we ask her, why did you do this? Can she give a scientific equation for it? Can anybody give scientific equation? For sure, no. What I mean is that, can we say, when the tune uh, of the do with the, mixed with the re and me and five, five of, of, and any, any, any musical notes, and touches the, 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 the nerves of a young girl who is the, uh, the composition of her nerves, so and so. The result is so. Is this possible? For sure, no. It's impossible. But the artists were respected through their behaviors. Yeah. They cannot, as I'm saying, they cannot tolerate seeing blood, violence. They are anti to all this. That's why I am thankful to God that I am created an artist, not a politician. That's what I was saying to my friend uh, uh, Hashim. Uh, can we listen can to him? Uh, can you be uh, an artist and a politician at the same time? Maybe. A politician can be, to a little extent, an artist, as far as emotions and feelings are concerned. But I doubt it. If
ويبقوا صفوف صفوف وتهيج الخلع بالكفوف وتقولوا عاش يحيى البطل سامعني ولا اقول كمان مسؤول كبير داير البلد قبال يهل قبال يصل لازم تجيب صفوف صفوف وتهيج الخلع بالكفوف وتقول عاش يحيى البطل سامعني ولا اقول كمان Yeah.